All right. Hello, everybody. My name is Eat More Toys, and we're today we're doing a record review. What is a record, you might ask? Well, a record is a uh, album that is printed on vinyl. Here's one example. <clears throat> has songs in these grooves and you need a record player to play them when you're done with the first side you flip it over and put the needle on the record and it plays the sounds so this is vinyl kids today's review is DJ Kubert's Wave Twisters Zero aka Origins so let's start back in 1998 bam DJ Kubert's wave twisters He made a, a scratch album with uh, the invisible scratch pickles and Here you see the tracks and if you're a record collector You know, there's always art and the art makes a big um, Influence in what you're gonna buy the art here was by Morning Breath. Follow him on Instagram, he's amazing. So this record came out soon after they made an animated movie to this record by the same name, Wave Twisters. I would say that is my generation's um, Yellow Submarine for the DJs, for the hip hop heads. Yellow Submarine is great, nothing against it, but Wave Twisters is for me. If you ever watch that movie, you will definitely love it. It's amazing. The sound is great, the animation is great, and it's just a really good trip. That's the best way I can put it. So years and years passed by, and he didn't do anything um, to continue that story, because it's the story. Excuse me. 23 years later. He releases Origins. So he's telling the story of all the characters, nine good characters and nine evil characters, and their backstory. So I already opened this. I couldn't wait. <sighs> and here it is. Origins. Wave Twisters Zero. This is heavy. When I say heavy, I mean physically heavy. This is why people stop collecting albums, because you need space, you need a record player, you need speakers, uh, you need equipment. Nowadays, you just give your phone a little tappity tap, and you have all the music you want. This isn't fun. Records is fun. Feeling the record, looking at the record, smelling the record. It's just fun. For people that me, like me that collect, it's very nostalgic to, to physically find it, physically own it, and have something that you know is limited. Even if it's not limited, you know, it's it's not easy to get everything you want physically. It's, it's, it's just different. It's different. You can have everything online, but is it really yours? It's not the same. This I can pass down to the next generation or another person that I know will value it in the future. By the way... A few facts. This was um, thirty-three dollars. There was only a thousand made, printed, pressed. Sorry, and uh, it only comes with the two albums, the two records, side A and B. And I'm very happy with that. <clears throat> I am a collector of many things. One of those things are records, and I'm a big fan of DJ Kubert and all the Invisible Scratch Pickles and all the great DJs. But um, when it comes to DJ Kubert, you you have to. Listen to him. He is the greatest DJ out there. Hands down. So again, 23 years later, he continues the story. And we have more art by Morning Breath. And uh, the album doesn't have anything, you know, fancy as far as like the art on the album. But they did go all out on the sleeves. So that's A and B. And on the first half of the album, it includes... A mask with a red worm. He is the villain. If you haven't seen the video or the, the movie, 
And this is made out of a little cardboard. You can cut this out and, you know, use it as a mask for Halloween or whatever. I don't want to cut this. So what I will do is I'll probably just photocopy it. Maybe make two or three on some good paper and then cut those out and keep this original. This would even make good art if you frame it. So thank you for making good art. And here we have uh, Wave Twister, the unofficial paper. <laughs> Kids, ask your parents for help. Well, you don't have to do that. This is the infamous DJ um, watch that you can see. Ready for this? Ah, ready to go. Oh, fudge. Ah. On this album cover. You see DJ Kubert playing with it right there? And maybe if you look back here, you can see DJ Kubert. Is it that side? Oh, sorry, it's this side. Yeah, this this side. Saying hello right there. So this album is very high impact. A lot of heavy scratching, bass drum and uh and you just have to be into it you can't just listen to a scratch album and dance to it or or or, or put on a party and everybody's like whoa it's it's something it's just, it's like jazz really it's something that you have to just be into the scratching the djing uh the weirdness and the uniqueness of it is just really different so anyway here we have another cutout and it's the watch the dj watch watch the movie and you understand all this. See this little guy? I uh, I asked a friend to make me one, and he delivered. Not for sale. I do not condone making these and selling them unless you get permission. Uh, DJ Cooper is a nice guy, but I'm just a fan. I, I never saw when they came out. One artist made them. They're very limited. I, I missed out, so I had a friend uh, make a 3D printout, and he did a great job, and he painted it. Uh, New Transylvania, thank you very much. You're awesome. Very good friend, great artist, or a very great friend and a great artist, both. So this is one. I'm getting sidetracked here, but I just have to gloat a little bit. And then I bought that years ago from Kid Robot. It's DJ Kubert. And he came with a hat with the logo for Thud Rumble. Now, I never liked that this hat was very difficult to put on. I felt like I was going to break it. So, I'd just rather leave it with the hat off. And, his infamous turntable. With an actual stylus. You know, a toy stylus, not a real stylus. And this goes with the set. Uh, if you follow me on Instagram, Eat More Toys, you'll see all these pictures of all these things. So anyway, back to the record. Kid Robot, DJ Kubert, Rubbish, his hat, and his turntable. Let's go back to the record review. So that was on the first um, album. The album and the two printed out things. And then on the other side, we have the second album. Bam. Morning Breath, more art. Um... His site is amazing. Just just go to Instagram and follow him there too. Um, Morning Breath. And for $33, you got two albums. As you can see, the two cutout um, art pieces. And the poster. Oh, the poster's huge. So I will definitely be framing this. There you go. For the mean and in between, I'm going to put it away because I want to keep it in great condition. So for $33, you got that. 1000 pressed. And um, if you paid, I think, I don't know, $44 or something? Let me check real quick. I'm sorry. This is unprofessional. Yeah, 45 You got that poster signed by DJ Kubert, which is great. I'm just not a fan of signatures. And then if you paid $78... You got all that, the signature, and three seven-inch uh, records that were called uh, the the Lost Encounters, which will not be featured on this album. Now, DJ Kubert's a great dude. Um, I've always loved his music. He seems like a very down-to-earth dude. Just watch his interviews. He stays young. He's like 50, and he stays young. I mean, he looks great. <sighs> um, where was I going with this? Hmm. 
I don't know. Anyway, here's the art inside. That's the dead people. That's the villains. And this is the back. Listen to the album. Wake up your neighbors. Piss off your coworkers. Blast that shit. It is good. Bass. Tribal. Jungle. Um, you know, scratchy. Silliness. Goofiness. Technical DJ turntableism. Beat juggling. I mean, you will hear everything you want to hear from a DJ Qbert production. And, um, you know, it's just really, really good. I, I, I loved it. I'm still listening to it. It's one of those albums you have to study. You can't just listen to it once and be like, yay, that's it, I'm over with it. No, you're going to listen to it at least a thousand times. The louder, the more you repeat it, you will hear details and, and sounds. They did a scratch with uh, Old Dirty Bastard's uh, Yell and Method Man. That's like on the second track. No, on Vermin. That thing is awesome. Uh, Boombox is great. Summoner's crazy. It's, it's creepy. Whew. I mean, just just listen to the album, man. It's it's that's what I was getting at. It's free. You can hear it for free if you go to his website, Thud Rumble, and just download the songs free. Really, who does that? Adults, I mean, they do it. But well, actually, you can get free music anywhere. But it just feels good. To have the physical, physical piece, you know, it's just, it's just good. I'm a collector. I need to have things to touch and say like this, this smells good, it feels good, or it's rough, or it's the fact that it's just different, you know. It's just like you can't just look through pictures on your phone all your life and be like, yeah, I remember all that. It's, it's boring. You have to have printed out pictures, and I'm getting off track. Go to Thud Rumble, download the songs. You'll love it. He gave free songs. Before he finished this, so these are remastered. So if you get the free songs, you'll hear a different uh, mix to some of these songs. And if you bought the <clears throat> exclusive 80, $87 one, um, you'll have three more albums. People, please upload those. I want to hear them. I, I cheaped out. I, I, I messed up. I should have. I didn't have the money then. Whatever. But I'm happy that I have this. I still support artists that I love. I, I love his music. I've been playing it super loud in my car every day. And I'm just studying it. It's just amazing. It gets me hyped up to listen to music again. It gets me interested in wanting to mix again. I used to play with the turntables back in the day and scratch a little bit. So anyway, that's my review and my rant. Go support the artists you love. Support all the people that uh, are making great funky things. One of those peoples is right here. DJ Kubert, Origins, Wave Twisters, Zero. Peace.